Hello YouTubers, Chattius Spike 2 here, welcome to the Crash Course for Evolution. So, you want to know what evolution is? Well, allow me to tell you. Evolution means that 50 billion years ago, the universe exploded out of nothing and created everything. All the planets, stars and galaxies formed instantly. The origin of life, also known as evolution, a biogenesis, spontaneous generation, it doesn't matter they all mean the same thing. This is when the Earth formed about 10 billion years ago. Life randomly came into existence from Iraq. We cannot explain how life came into existence randomly like that, because if you take a modern day amoeba and poke it with a needle all of its crap falls out, and you can't exactly put it all back together again. Regardless, Darwin has proved that all the parts required for a living cell came together by random chance. From there, life began evolving and getting bigger and better and stronger and faster. Amoebas gave birth to jellyfish which gave birth to fish which gave birth to frogs which gave birth to geckos which gave birth to squirrels which gave birth to monkeys which gave birth to humans. Yep, it's how it happened. True story. W we know there are tons of irreducibly complex things, but we have no problem with the obvious fact that they all came together by random chance. Even the bacterial flagellum. All 500 proteins just came together all at once. Isn't nature wild? Everything will eventually evolve to become humans. We were just the lucky first. As for the age of the Earth, according to evolution we know that it's 10 billion years old because of radiocarbon dating. Obviously, because there is nothing more reliable for dating things older than 60,000 years than radiocarbon dating. It's a one-size-fits-all dating method and we don't use any others. Finally, as stated in Darwin's book Origin of Species, there is no God. It says so right in the book, it says, the formation of the eye is absurd in the highest degree there is no God. How do we know there is no God? Because of Piltdown Man, Java Man, Nebraska Man, Peppered Moths, and Heckel's textbook Embryos. You know the real stuff we base our faith in evolution on. And since evolution is true because of Piltdown Man, it encourages abortion, it supports rape, and it requires atheism. Because as we all know, evolution and atheism are the same thing. Additionally, when you extrapolate the implications of evolution, you find that evolution justifies communism, racism, abortion, rape, Nazism, gay rights, women's liberation, extreme environmentalism, euthanasia, pornography, humanism, sodomization, more rape, cannibalism, and rectal rituals. Double R for sure. And we know this because evolution is a completely random process. That is obviously all the evidence we have for evolution. That's what the textbooks say and there is no more to it. Congratulations, you have passed the crash course for evolution. Enjoy your time.